Saber Saber friends. Space Windu here from the FX Saber forums, and Harris is also here from Saber Talk. Hey, hey. We are talking about Steven's Graflex lightsaber, which is a Graflex 2.0. And this one has several features from Empire Strikes Back, but also The Force Awakens, because Steven wanted to have the top button be the activation and we have the side button here is the auxiliary there is a really cool glass eye that we'll have to show you when the sabers powered on that you can see through and Harris spearheaded this one with the electronics as well this has the NeoPixel set up by Plector Labs uh, with the prism 5.5 so there's a bunch of effects that are possible with the fire effect and the rain blade and different things like that. And what Harris did was he took the uh, interior chassis and uh, he added some of his own touches to it and then uh, fully installed uh, the Prism 5.5 into the chassis with a bunch of accent LEDs and uh, it looks really cool. So he's gonna show you here. The Prism is actually hidden in this section right here. So you can't actually see the prism in there anywhere. Um, if you take notice, a lot of 14 karat gold plated parts in here. Amazing looking when it lights up. And actually Steve painted the chassis himself before he sent it to us. So that's Yeah, cool. my friend Steve uh, <clears throat> added paint to this and he also chose the gold parts. Isn't that right? Yeah. Uh, this uh, activated the... That's uh, the activation kill key button. It does have a turn kill key. So you can leave the kill key in when the saber is closed. You turn it and it activates the saber. When you turn it on, you get a few blinkies lighting up and a main light inside the crystal chamber turns on bright white. That lets you know that your board is active and awake. Yeah, Harris chose, uh, I think, a green and a blue, which are the accent LEDs and then the power on LED, which is the white. It also ignites the crystal chamber with the NeoPixel accent LEDs that Harris added here, two interior uh, NeoPixel uh, blade mirroring accent LEDs. One of them is a crystal chamber powered right part here. there that uh, powers the crystal chamber. And he's gonna show you that right now. Let's turn it on here. There's a white core to like every single color that, um, that comes up. That's pretty sweet with the gold. Like you can see there's gold happening there. There's also the green and blue blinkies um, inside, but also you got the white core. When you change the colors, a double press of the activation and the auxiliary at the same time is what changes the color at the same time that the blade color changes, the crystal chamber will change to that exact color as well and so will the glass shine through eye. This That's pretty mimic. sweet. It has a, like a screen. Um, Harris added this like material in there which diffuses the light a little bit, makes it look really cool through the glass eye. There's the light of blade plug. So if you count them up, inside the uh, chamber here, there's uh, an LED here, there's a blue LED on one side, a green LED on the other side. There's a NeoPixel chip, uh, a little single, I mean it's like small, it's like tiny. And that is underneath the crystal chamber. And then there is also a NeoPixel sitting on top of the board that gives us that color inside of the chassis system here. Uh, so that all will mimic the actual blade color. Anytime you change the color, it will change along with the main blade color light up the crystal in the internal chamber. There's the access to the SD card at the bottom along with a custom um, little rice port that is just a connection, a three-prong connection. I'm gonna have to uh, get Steven the adapter for uh, changing that to the USB. So you see it. This is your card right here. And uh, I wouldn't use a metal tool, but use like a tweezers if you can maybe with some some tape around the edge just to push it in when you push it in the card will pop back out and then you can just grab it and pull the whole card out 
This is the rice port connection. This is not your standard rice port. Um, Anthony is in the process now of making a cable for this. Um, and that will allow you to plug this into your rice that's already set up on the board for you. So all you got to do is put the program on your PC. And then this is the uh, kill switch and this is the charge port right here also. I uh, don't recommend ever opening up from here in. This is all put together and solid and no need to ever take that out. That screw, I would never remove that screw unless you're going to tweak the blade, the, uh, the, the side of the box here. So that's a genuine quartz crystal in there. Um, Steve did include a couple uh, 3D printed from like Shapeways crystals. Uh, I'm a fan of the real crystal. Uh, it's got to have a real crystal in it. It's a clear quartz. Um, it fit in there beautifully. It's just wrapped and encased in that 14 karat gold. Um, it looks amazing on camera. Uh, to be honest with you, the camera doesn't do it justice. It's having trouble focusing here, but the camera just doesn't do it justice. When you look at it with your own eye, it's just an amazing looking piece. This is, this is an heirloom quality saber that I would consider this, you know, something to be passed down to your children someday, you know? It is a work of art. And speaking of heirloom, that's one of the fonts that's on here on right camera. now. Just to represent the Graflex. Let's talk about changing fonts while we have it in our hands and have it open. So when you power it down, you're going to go to this slide switch here, which is actually now a push button. You just push it and hold it one time, let it go, and it switches automatically to the next font. Your red button is your main activation. Um, if you have had a, uh, a Plector Labs card, it works just like any Plector Labs card. Two a quick press gives you your, your color change. Um, one short press gives you blaster blocks. A long hard press gives you uh, your blade lockup. So one of the cool things I think uh, about this too, it looks great with it, with the bottom off, but you don't want to be like playing around with the saber, like dueling or anything like that, or you know striking anything while the bottom's off. But then once the bottom is on, um, you clamp down, it's pretty strong, and you could actually see down below, uh, which I think is pretty cool, like still the lighted accents and all the different colors, which is pretty sweet. So even when the bottom's on, you kind of get a glimpse of like what's going on on the, on the inside. I love that red. Yeah, that looks so sweet. Very cool on this. It looks good on this hilt, you know. It, it's, it makes you feel like it's, it's, Anakin's gone bad now and the hilt's turned yeah. red, you know. <laughs> Right now, Anthony is screwing out the blade holder screw. Um, this is what you're going to loosen up to remove your blade. Pinch your bunny ears. Give a little shake. The blade plug should fall out, although sometimes they are snug. There you go. So there's our blade plug. So right now I'm just putting in the uh, blade. I had to sand down a little bit there at the base uh, to fit in. And you're screwing it down a little bit, and that's just going to hold your blade in place. With the NeoPixel blade, you can get some really cool effects. It just looks like the blade is like alive and shimmering, like a like a in-your-face lightsaber, man.
thanks for taking a look at this uh, lightsaber. Harris, thanks for taking the lead and really creating this for Steve. I know he's going to be super happy he's, with it. He's going to love it. He's uh, a good guy, Steve. Great communication with you, and uh, don't be a stranger, man. Feel free to hit us up anytime. It was a pleasure to work on. A lot of fun. Thank you for uh, allowing us to do it.